love of God, I failed again. <laughs> So, yo, what is up, guys? KPAL11 here, and today we are playing Minecraft, and I am going to show you guys how to build a combination lock. So, I'm sure you know what a combination lock is, but if you don't, um, first off, um, I'm a little worried for you. Maybe you need to secure li your life a little bit more. But, basically, the idea is um, a lock where if you look at this very encrypted and very secure code here um you can enter it in here as you can tell that's a one if you want to put 1079 here it will open up this doorway and you can store your valuables or that could even be the entrance to your home if you're very insecure about stuff but yeah that is the basic idea of it. So, the first part of this is you want to make little stacked pillars like this if... Mm, well, the worst part about the controls of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Yes, I call it Pocket Edition. Don't judge me. Um, so, you want to set up little two block tall pillars, one block apart in rows like this. And oh my gosh! <laughs> then you want to... Uh, put levers on the bottom block and this is completely optional this is just for organizational preferences and I shall now generate a randomly generated code that I totally um, put in a random number generator and didn't just wing it totally alright this is our randomly generated code that I totally did not just make up on the spot um, so what was that 4286 so I'm going to punch that in right now, and obviously it's not going to do anything because this isn't hooked up to anything yet. So we have two, four, six, and eight. Uh, that's really just all even numbers, isn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, that's cool. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to hook redstone dust up to all of this, and the dust will tell you what the combination is so the idea behind this step is that you mm, for the love of god okay i need to turn the sensitivity down <laughs> hold on just a hot sec eh. all right well that's as good as it's gonna get Oh, this is so much worse. Oh, this is ten times worse. It's okay. You know what? It's fine. So now what you want to do after this step is you want to put repeaters here. Where the redstone is lit up after one redstone block. And then you want to put not a sticky piston like that, but a sticky piston like that. And then what you want to do is you want to extend the redstone that's not part of the combination out two blocks more. Then you want to put it connected like this, like this. Oopsie, oopsie. Yeah, you want these all to be on one tick delay so that it's nice and speedy. Um, oh my gosh, this is despicably low sensitivity. This is fine. Okay. Um, now what you want to do is you want to... Now what you'll need is a comparator. Let me just get that puppy out. And then what you want to do is place it like this. And then put some... Your block of choice like this. 
can just make a line. Make it a little swaggy line here. Then you want to place obviously this block on the pistons and at this point you can actually no at this point you want to put repeaters going like this towards the block now the reason let me explain something to you the reason why these have to be one block apart is because if you have two that are the same you want so say these this was an actual activation um, you can't have a redstone signal go through two blocks and they still keep going. That's the thing. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason. So now what you want to do is where there are no um, repeaters, you want to... Oh, okay, no, that's, that's correct. Uh, where there are no repeaters, you want to place yourself some redstone. And that is how you make a basic combination lock. So basically how, let me show you how this works. So the basics of how this works, it's kind of like a lock that you would have like right next to your garage door that would give you your house key. But in that, um, it doesn't matter what order you put the numbers in as long as it's just all the correct numbers. And why am I moving so damn slow? What is this? So it doesn't even matter if, as long as you put the numbers in the correct, or in, as long as you put the correct numbers, you are fine. You are entirely fine. Why is there a block here? Or why is there redstone here? Um, that was dumb. Okay, um, yeah. So that's basically how you do it. And then when you place the wrong block combination here, um, so if you say you put something wrong here, it sends a signal to this redstone chain back here, which then sends a signal into this sideways comparator, which because the torch is on, it causes the comparator to stop that signal, which in turn stops the signal going up here, which when this signal is on is normally being carried by the blocks and the repeaters so when you activate a wrong one it turns off said signal therefore blocking off anything is there's a wrong input answered so obviously this one is kind of bad because um if you put in a wrong so say you this one can easily be hacked just by seeing if you can hear a piston so the what I mean is no piston noises that can't be one so a simple solution to this is just to place fake pistons here where the redstone just doesn't meet anything else. That is wrong. And so, you cannot tell the difference. Kind of. It's interesting, that's for sure. Um, one way to fix that is to place repeaters going out here. can simply just that's not a piston that's wrong you can simply just put uh, the pistons here like this and if they're doubled up like that you can just put a piston right there So you cannot tell whether it is a fake one or a real one. 
So yeah, that is the basic combination lock. Obviously, you'll want to cover this up so that people can't tell what the combination is. And obviously, you want to build this up higher than two blocks because you can kind of see the pistons extending through the back here. Another gateway to an easy way to hack this particular system. So, obviously this isn't the most secure combination lock system, but it's basic and it doesn't require the most amount of materials. So, yeah, that is basically how you make a combination lock system out of redstone in Minecraft. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and do all of that stuff. And, um, yeah, bye guys.